Creating CMAs may seem like a momentous task, but with the help of RPR, you can create simple or comprehensive reports in less than five minutes. Let us show you how. Select RPR from the side menu in Matrix to open RPR and enter the address. If the listing is in Matrix, you can pull the listing up in Matrix and click the small RPR icon at the top to open the property details in RPR. The first thing you'll notice under the property summary is the RVM price, which is the Realtor Valuation Model. If you click Details, you can see the RVM range, as well as a confidence rating for that range. You'll notice to the right of the RVM, a button to create a CMA, which you can click to begin creating a CMA, or you can also click CMA at the top menu as well. There are five total steps to complete a comp analysis, and the first of these is to confirm the facts of the property. So let's click on Confirm Facts and you'll notice there are no changes between the public record data and the listing data. Scroll to the bottom and click Confirm Facts and Close. The next step is to find comps, so let's select that button and carry on. RPR will automatically default to searching for comps within its own database, but if you want to add in your own comps, you can manually enter your comps by selecting Add a Known Property at the top and inputting the MLS number. For this tutorial, we'll just search from properties within RPR and we will review the search terms on the left-hand side. You'll notice that single family is selected, along with active for sale, pending and sold properties. You'll want to change the date to your preferred range in this drop-down box, but for the purposes of this CMA example, we'll keep it on within the last six months. Next, you'll want to change the property details to mirror the comparables you are looking for. Since this property is 3 bed 2 bath, let's keep it to that and put in a similar range for the living area square footage. Since this property is 2,600 square feet, let's put in a range of 2,200 to 3,000 square feet. After that, click the search button to find your comparable properties. On the results page, you'll notice all of the properties on the map are color-coded by their status. You can select at the top to draw a shape or use a radius on the map to select the properties, or you can select the use of geography, drop down to find properties within a specific area, such as the neighborhood, school district, etc. If we play around with some of the options, we can see that the best option is intermediate neighborhood, which includes the four properties displayed here. So once that's selected, if you scroll down, you can see the list of properties and that they are currently sorted by proximity. If you want to change the way the properties are sorted, just select the option at the top that you wish to sort by. If you want to look at the properties a little more closely to see how they compare, just click on the property and it will open in a new window for you to view. When you have narrowed down the list of properties you want to add to the comps, just select the checkbox below each property and you'll see them being added to your list on the right hand side. Once you have all of the properties selected you wish to include, scroll down to the bottom and click Update Valuation and Close. On Step 3, select the Adjust Comps button, and now, you are able to adjust the order in which you want the comparable properties to show up in. Just select the drop-down at the top of the listings to reorder them how you see fit. If you selected more than three properties, you would need to click the Next button at the top to scroll over to your other properties. There are a number of things you can do within the adjustments, such as select whether the property is better or worse than the subject property, or you can even add notes and choose whether to include it in the report. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to skip over making any adjustments and click the Update Valuation and Clothes button. For Step 4, you can adjust the result of the comp analysis. Just select Edit to the right-hand side, and you can enter in your own value for the recommended price, as well as a range. Below this, it will still give you the original recommended price and range, just in case you want to maybe recommend a price but still keep the suggested range. When you are done typing in your amounts, make sure to click the Save button. If you want to go back to the original results, just click the Revert to Original Result text to the left of the Save button. And for the fifth and final step, we're going to create the report. Once you create a report, the most common report for the CMA is the Seller's Report. As you can see to the side, it tells you that the average seller's report is approximately 81 pages. If you select the plus sign, you can see all of the items or pages that will be included in the CMA, and you can select and choose what items or documentation to be included. 
To shorten the CMA, you may want to remove the property photos, historical photos, and property history to cut down some of the pages. If you have a question about what any of the pages mean or might include, just hover over the little eye icon to the right to get a short description and an image of what that page may look like. Once you have everything marked that you wish to include in the report, now it's time to personalize it and send it. Just scroll down to the bottom until you see Personalize Your Report, and you can include the recipient's name and email to send it over to them. If you just wish to download the report to include with other items to send over, choose the Display Now button and hit Run Report. RPR may take a few minutes to load the report for download, but you can also navigate away and get back to it by going to the Reports option in the menu or even the My Work option. You'll see that Reports now has an orange one next to it so, if you select Report, you'll see that your seller's report is waiting for you. If you navigate over to My Work, you can find the report under Reports, but just know that they expire after 30 days. And that's it! RPR will help you master the CMA report in no time.